The circuit shown represents the boom and bucket cylinders and their associated valving. The circuit is supplied by a fixed displacement pump with a main system relief valve set at 21 MPA, 3000 PSI. The flow is supplying two directional control valves with a closed center, which respectively supply the bucket cylinder and the two boom cylinders, allowing them to be extended or retracted as necessary during operation. Each cylinder in the circuit is equipped with circuit work port reliefs set at 22.5 MPA, 3250 PSI, which only come into operation if the machine is overloaded and the directional control valves are in the center position. In any other position of the directional control valves, the main relief would actuate instead of the circuit work port reliefs. Each directional control valve is equipped with a load drop check valve which is used to prevent the load from settling during the transition of the different valve positions. The bucket cylinder is also equipped with anti-cavitation check valves plumbed in around the circuit work port reliefs. The typical operation sequence of this circuit is that the bucket cylinder is retracted to secure the load in the bucket. Let's watch the circuit as it is set in motion. The boom cylinders are extended as necessary to obtain the desired height of the bucket. The bucket is then dumped by extending the bucket cylinder. As the bucket goes over center, Gravity will try to pull the cylinder rod and piston ahead of the pump flow being supplied and the cap end of the cylinder may try to cavitate. The anti-cavitation check valves allow flow from the reservoir to fill the cap end and prevent cavitation. Transisting with the bucket full and raised may cause load-induced movement of the bucket, bouncing, which would possibly cause either side circuit work port reliefs to actuate and the anti-cavitation check valves would supply the necessary makeup fluid to the opposite side. IFPS has just released a new Symbology Reference Guide. This 30-page ISO 1219 compliant must-have guide outlines common hydraulic, pneumatic, and electrical symbology used in fluid power circuits and is approved for use during all certification tests. Visit IFPS.org to order your copy today.